Hello you guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm actually really excited to sit down and film this video because I got something in the mail that I wasn't expecting at all and I'm actually gonna open it for the first time on camera with you guys, but I don't know if you can see what this is, but this is actually the Elf and Chipotle collaboration that they did. Totally random by the way, but like, this is kinda cool. It says, it's okay to be a little extra. Elf X Chipotle. <laughs> this is actually cute. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. It says, <laughs> this is really cute. It says, eyes, chips, face. We have a hot salsa um, lip gloss. And there's a sponge that's in the shape of an avocado and an eyeshadow palette. And just so you guys know, I know that I've worked with e.l.f. multiple times in the past, but this particular video is not sponsored by e.l.f. Cosmetics, but this video is in partnership with another company that I'm really excited to tell you guys about, and I wanna tell you guys about them like really quickly before I hop into all this, but I would like to give a huge special thank you to Brewmate for sponsoring today's video. I swear this product was made for me. I think that someone from the team had to have seen my videos and seen that I drink way too much freaking Red Bull, but look at this, guys. So this is called the Hops Later Slim from Brewmate, and basically what this is is a stainless steel like little cooler for all of your 12 ounce cans. So Watch this, my Red Bull that I clearly drink too much of. Like, what? How freaking cool is that? Don't mind if I do. This is so freaking neat. I know I cannot be the only one like this, but I love drinking Red Bulls, I love like the White Claws and the Trulies, which all like fit into this little can as well. It also fits like the 12 ounce beers, like the Michelob Ultras and that kind of stuff, but like that's not really like my style. I'm more like a White Claw, Truly, Red Bull type of gal. My biggest gripe, hands down, is that usually, and look how like locked in there this is. Like I'm like really pulling on this. This isn't going anywhere. I'm trying to show you guys what I mean, but. Um, so I'll get down to about like here and I'm just over it, honestly, because it's like flat, it's warm, I'm just, I can't. It keeps whatever you're drinking ice cold or it can actually keep your drinks warm if you are drinking something that is warm. Oh my gosh, already? This is literally why I didn't delit my shirt because I knew this was gonna happen. It's like the foam koozies that you see people use, but this is 20 times better because it's stainless steel. It has a really like slim, sleek design and it comes in so many different colors. But yeah, when they reached out to me and I saw what this was, I was like, everyone needs this. Like, I've needed this. I've needed this for so long and I'm so happy that I have one. I'm gonna use this every single time I film now because I always have a Red Bull with me. But anyway, if you guys are interested in Brewmate for yourselves or also like this would actually make a really cool gift to somebody, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description box below for you guys and you can get your very own Brewmate. And I think that this is something that'll last for freaking ever. And like I said, it's just really cool. Like it's, it's a cool design. It's, I don't know, look at it, it's cute. And like I said, it has this really, really cool like push lock technology so your drink's not gonna go like flying out anywhere. I just thought this was really neat and I was really excited to share it with you guys. So anyway, thank you so much to Brewmate for partnering with me in today's video. And now we can get into the makeup. My lips are crusted and busted. Side note, for those of you that I've never introduced my cat to, this is Mally. I know that not all of you guys watch every single one of my videos, but I see a lot of comments that are like, I didn't even know she had a cat. Um, her tongue hurts so bad, like, oh my gosh. Does anyone else have a cat that's tongue just like kills them? But I've actually had her for, I'm 30 now, and I got her when I was 19, so I've had her for 11 years. I actually rescued her and her brother, and I'm not gonna get into it because I'm not gonna freaking cry in every video on my channel, but if you guys wanna know like a little bit of the backstory, I can link a video like in a card somewhere <laughs> or I'll link it down below um, and then you guys don't have to watch that whole video if you just scroll like to the end you'll see anyway <laughs> see this is why I try so hard not to pet her when she's on me when I'm filming because as soon as I pet her it's like 
it's an explosion of cat hair and then it gets stuck all over my face and all over my lips do you ever have the feeling that there's a hair on you but you can't find it and it drives you crazy that's how i feel <laughs> what's happening so we have the make it hot lip gloss for eight dollars it says vitamin e coconut oil infused lip plumping gloss with a fiery tint of color and then the extra guac sponge set is ten dollars oh there's two of them sponge set is ten dollars it says an avocado with an angle oh, she's licking me avocado with angled and rounded edges a mini pit oh for hard to reach areas that's really cute so it's an avocado and it's a pit too i'm not going to be using this but that's actually really neat i don't know if you guys can see it but there's the avocado and there's the pit man people are so creative and then the eyes chips face makeup oh never mind i skipped one no oh, wait. Oh, I skipped this, the first one. Jesus. Chipotle eyeshadow palette, $16. It says spice things up with 12 pigmented Chipotle ingredient shades. And then we have the Eyes Chips Face makeup bag for $18. All that and a bag of makeup fits the entire e.l.f. X Chipotle collection. This is the makeup bag. It's like the bag of chips from Chipotle. It says it's okay to be a little extra e.l.f. X Chipotle. It just looks like a little chip bag. That's so cute. Whoever came up with this whole collection is very creative. So this is the makeup palette and we are seeing it together for the first time. I have a feeling there's a mirror so I'm gonna like flip it really quick because if you guys see my desk I'm gonna be traumatized so really quickly. <laughs> so this is the makeup palette. I guess I'll swatch the shades for you. I never really do like reviews like this on my channel. I remember when I first started my channel, I was like, I'm never gonna do reviews. But honestly, like a makeup channel, right? Should probably do reviews. If you don't care about swatches, feel free to just skip through this part because I, um, to be completely honest, I really don't care about swatches. Like I do not care how something performs on my forearm. I care how it performs on my eyes. But you know what? Let me know in the comments below if you're someone that enjoys swatches or if you could just care less that'll kind of help me out for like future reviews so anyway I will start off my swatching with the shade lettuce so that's this oh that feels nice oh um so that's lettuce let me do a, a double swatch this is guac oh that's so pretty it's like a green with a gold shift noise so next is corn salsa and this is like a really pretty reflective gold oh it has silver in there as well it's really pretty let's do one more of those that is beautiful i feel like with a little bit of fix plus this shade would be absolutely insane. I mean, it's insane like without it, but you can just tell that with like a little bit of glycerin, it would really make it pop. Mild Salsa is this really pretty maroon color. It's like a coppery maroon color. Once again, it has like little tiny flecks of silver in it. I'm sorry. I said this in my last video. I am not a professional swatch artist, so. You're gonna have to forgive me, but that's a really pretty like maroon copper color. So next we have pinto beans, which is what I would like to describe as like a pukey brown color, but these are my favorite brown colors. Like I love the like pukey browns and the pukey yellows and the pukey greens, like they're my favorite. That's a really nice matte. One more to keep it consistent but oh, that shade is so pretty so black beans is this deeper brown and this is actually more of like a brown with a purpley undertone so this is black beans which is actually funny because like that is the shade of black beans I almost wish that these were the same tone. This shade is much warmer, and I just like those more like pukey brown shades as opposed to like a purpley brown shade, but nonetheless, this is actually the shade of black beans, so I think that that's why they did that. And this is 
the shade of pinto beans so that makes sense too i just wish that the two complemented each other a little bit more but like it doesn't really matter what i think um let's see white rice okay so that one is this one this is going to be like a really pretty like inner corner highlight or brow bone highlight this might even be like a really pretty highlight on really fair skin tones This is like a really, really pretty highlight shade. It's gorgeous. See that? And then we have brown rice, which once again, really pretty inner corner highlight. This could also be like a really pretty highlight on deeper skin tones. Oh, that is nice. Ah, oh, that's so pretty. Once again, this is brown rice. Oh no, I'm running out of room. So green salsa is another green shimmer color and it actually looks like it has almost like a little bit of purple in there. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it almost like shifts pinky, purpley, greenish, gold, duochrome. <laughs> situation it's actually a really cool like unique color so next is hot salsa and that one is it's like a deep rich like burnt orange color but it also has like flecks of gold in it Take this finger and go right here oh wow that's gorgeous you know what's crazy is this is matte huh this is a matte shade but it has like little flecks of gold glitter. I thought that that was a shimmer and it's not. That's very interesting. Next we have Sofritas and this is like a really, really pretty shimmery bronze color, like a deep bronze. This is gorgeous. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I get so like weird about makeup. Like the sound effects, like, can you stop? I'm so annoying, but that, shade is beautiful okay and last but not least god i am so rough whoops last but not least is this really pretty purple shimmer color and this one almost looks like it has like a greeny gold sparkle in it as well so let's see how this one looks oh wow these shades swatch like so beautifully that's crazy, because if you look at the pan, you're kind of like, nah, whatever. Like, it might be cool, it might not be. But they're really gorgeous, like, duochrome shades that are super unique. Like, I didn't think that that was going to look like that. That's really pretty. It's like a purple with, like, a greeny gold duochrome. Wow. All right, well these are the shades i'm going to clean myself up and then we will get into the eye look just for the sake of time i already did my base first if you guys are curious about anything that's on my face currently i will link all the description all the description boxes wow i will link all the products in the description box below it is what it is so hopping into the eyeshadow palette i'm gonna take the shade white rice on a Smith 302 brush. This is just like an angled packer brush and I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this color. Where's my little mirror? <laughs> you guys saw my desk, I swear. You'll be so disgusted. All right, just running this along the brow bone. I'm only gonna show you guys this one eye, so just cuts down the editing like so much for me. So next I'm going to take Hot Salsa and a MAC 286 brush and I'm going to run this all throughout my transition and I'm holding my brush all the way down at the bottom because I don't want to apply much pressure at all but I'm also going at it like a downward angle because I don't want to like get this color too high up. At first I'm just kind of like packing the color on a little bit and getting most of the pigment off before I go crazy and start blending and then once it's kind of off the brush and distributed then I can actually take my grip all the way further down on the brush and then I can kind of like just go back and forth 
And I'm just going to keep doing the same exact thing and building up the shade until I have the desired opacity that I would like. This shade is actually gorgeous and it builds so nicely. This is like high-end shadow. Next, on a MAC 2 24 brush, I'm going to go into Pinto Bean. And I'm going to keep this shade pretty tight into my crease. I'm not going to really take it high up on that orbital bone. I'm just going to keep it tight in this area all right i'll show you guys how to get rid of fallout and then i'll teach you how to not get fallout with the next shade but you're just going to take like any little like powdered brush and you can actually load it up with like a little bit of translucent powder or not really doesn't matter but you just want to flick upwards gets rid of everything so now i'm going to go into black beans right yeah black beans same brush and i'll show you how to not get fallout on your face doing like little pouncing motions like this and tilting your head back because you're almost like smushing the pigment down and you're not giving it any opportunity to go anywhere else and i know i tell you guys in like almost every video but i have a scar right here on my eye so this eye always gives me trouble but for whatever reason this is the eye that i always choose to show you so i'm gonna go back in with the Smith 302 brush and I'm gonna pick up this guac shade yeah guac I'm going to spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray um, a lot of people will tell you to spray your brush and then dip it in the shadow don't do that dip the shadow then spray your brush and then I'm going to run this all the way from the inner corner to about I would say like three quarters of the way. And I'm not creating a super sharp cut crease, but I am like kind of creating a cut crease. For the center, I'm just gonna use my finger because it's easy for me to kind of like tap around and like blend the edges with it. Could you imagine if I just cut this like one nail? I keep flipping you guys off, I'm sorry. Could you imagine if I just cut this one nail down just to do this? Like I'm just so dedicated. Also, who am I for getting my nails done? That's how you know I've been going through it, is that I started getting my nails done. I just like have needed to like do something to get out of the house. I've been going a little crazy lately and I've needed to find things to do to get me out of the house, so I started getting my nails done. I don't even like getting my nails done, but I've also just been taking a lot of drives. Has anyone else been doing that? Like just cranking up the radio, listening to music, and just driving anything not to stare at my four walls or myself because <laughs> as much as I could film and edit every single day I get tired of looking at myself I'm not gonna lie like it's it's an interesting thing to do to have to like edit yourself I don't really know how to describe it it's almost like do you ever hear yourself on a recording like a voicemail or something I know a lot of the younger generation is like voicemail I would never leave a voicemail but Back in the olden days, uh, we used to leave voicemails, and I remember if I ever heard myself play back on a voicemail, I was like, oh my gosh, like, ugh. But yeah, that's kind of like how editing is, <laughs> so you're just like looking at yourself and editing yourself for like 20 hours, and it's just, it's just cringy. I would actually love to have an editor, but I just can't, I can't afford one, like, I'm not gonna not pay someone the money that they deserve to edit my videos and it just wouldn't make any sense to hire an editor because I don't make I don't make that kind of money so I would I'll be in the negative essentially is what I'm trying to say I feel like people have to get to like a I don't know I feel like you kind of have to be like a, a big deal on this platform to be able to afford an editor and Hopefully I can get there one day, but I'm not there yet. I'm also gonna take a little bit of green salsa and I'm gonna put this on like the very, very outer part of that green color. So just right here with my finger, just kind of like tapping just to blend everything together. All right, you guys, I'm going to quickly do some liner and lashes off of camera just to save some time and I will be right back. Okay, we are back and I know I look totally different, but hear me out, I feel like Honestly, sometimes it just gets like a little slow towards the end, like doing like the under eye shadow. It's just like, I don't know, it, especially for me when I'm watching makeup tutorials, it just kind of like drags on at that point. So I figured 
Let me just run you down the road what's of what I did. I don't know what I just said. But basically, I took white rice and brown rice. I'm getting really good at memorizing these names, I must say. Um, white rice, brown rice, inner corner, right? Then I took the black bean and pinto bean and I did it like tight up against my lash line and then I blended it out with hot salsa. I then applied the Maybelline Sky High Mascara and then I also applied the Tattoo Brow Studio in this like medium brown color to my waterline because I felt as if it would make my eyes pop. And then um, I did just like a regular black wing with the Tattoo Studio Maybelline, what? Wow, get it together. Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel Liner in Black Black. And the lashes that I applied are actually stunning. Manny, anyway, has me saying that now all the time. Okay, so the lashes that I have on, they're actually the new luxury synthetic line from Lily Lashes. They were so kind as to send them to me. And these are in the style posh. So like I said, I will link everything in the description box below. My lips, even though they look crazy right now because I am planning on using that gloss in just a second, my lips are MAC Strip Down. And this is like a super, super light um, liquid lip, but this is the Dose of Color liquid lip in sand. So yeah, hopping into this e.l.f. X Chipotle hot salsa lip gloss. So this is supposed to be a plumping gloss and I'm hoping that it doesn't have this tint to it, but because it's definitely not gonna go with the makeup look. And I don't know if I'm gonna feel like the plumping effect because I have such a barrier between the two. So I guess this is like not gonna be a real honest review of uh, the gloss, but we shall give it a go. Ooh, it smells like red hot, like the little red hot candies. Or like big, big red gum. Oh, I love big red gum. Alrighty, so let us wrap up the video, you guys. I have literal like flakes of dry shampoo in my hair because my hair is so freaking dirty. This is like, mm, I don't know, day five. I'm not washing it. Yeah, I'm gonna get it together. Um, just not now. After the pandemic, totally gonna get it together. The eyeshadow palette is everything. All of these shades performed so well, well, the ones that I used. And the ones that I swatched were equally as stunning. So it's a yes for me on the eyeshadow palette. It's like a little over a dollar a shade. That's really, really good. And they performed really well. They actually performed like some high-end palettes that I have. So highly, highly recommend. Uh, lip gloss, love it. I actually do feel like a little bit of tingling. I don't know if it's plumping my lips, um, but it's really pretty. It's not like an opaque pinkish shade. It has like a little bit of a tint, but nothing crazy obviously just the smell alone like could you imagine putting this on and like kissing somebody they get done kissing you and then they're like still thinking about you a little bit later because their lips are tingling leave a lasting impression okay what else what else was there oh the sponge the little sponge was so cute obviously i didn't use it but the little avocado with the pit it was cute all right you guys i hope you enjoyed this video this collection is actually available now so by the time you're seeing this it's already live and ready for purchase hopefully it didn't sell out right away and i'm sure if it did there's gonna be a restock so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please go ahead and give it a thumbs up it really helps with the algorithm and if you would be so kind as to click the subscribe button and also turn on your post notifications so that you are notified every single time i post a video would you guys like it if i started doing like a post notification shout out type thing because i feel like a lot of people do that and it's kind of cute maybe i'll start doing that in the next video so if you are subscribed and you have your post notifications turned on i will shout you out Lastly, once again, I would like to thank Brewmate for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys would like to get a cute little Brewmate Hopsulator Slim, I will make sure to leave a link in the description box below. And if you click my link, you will get this cute little beverage cooler for 25 bucks. So yeah, thank you guys so much for finding me and reaching out to me because I'm freaking obsessed with this thing. I think that's all for today's video. I love you guys so much as always. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.